Clinton is the VP of Public Policy for the White Coat Waste Project that first blew the whistle on these experiments and joins us now. Uh, Justin, appreciate you being with us. Is there any scientific explanation or benefit to these experiments? Absolutely not. The most recent experiments that we expose involve uh, the NIH spending $1.68 million to purchase 44 beagle puppies who are six to eight months old, uh, force debark them, cut out their vocal cords so they couldn't bark and make noise in the laboratory, force feed them experimental drugs, in inject them with experimental drugs, and then kill them. And the NIH, specifically Anthony Fauci's division at the NIH, has said that the purpose, the ostensible purpose of this was to get, NIH, to get FDA approval for this drug. Meanwhile, the FDA is saying it does not require dog testing. So then the next qu obvious question is, why do it? Why do it in Tunisia? So there's two different experiments that we've exposed. The project in Tunisia uh, happened a couple years ago. Uh, that project involved strapping those beagles into those mesh cages and then filling them, as the report said, with hungry sand flies. But in that experiment, they were looking to see whether the flies would be uh, more prone to eat beagles who were infected with a parasite or beagles who were healthy. Uh, all the dogs ended up being killed at the end. Uh, these experiments were unnecessary. The NIH itself admits that 90% 90, 90 of drugs that pass animal tests fail in humans because they don't work or are dangerous. Uh, you have other agencies outside of the NIH, like the FDA, the EPA, and the Department of Veterans Affairs moving away from dog testing. Yet, at every turn, Anthony Fauci and the NIH have doubled down on, on dog testing and animal testing generally. It's interesting. I asked a congressman about the letter that you all had signed and then sent around uh, from, I think it was about 23 or 24 bipartisan congressmen. I said, hey, did you sign this? He said, no. He says, I can't even remember how many of these things I signed because I signed so many demanding this, demanding that. What's the chance that there's actually some accountability that comes out of this? Uh, we're like a dog with a bone with these things. We don't let go. So. This is just the first step. The expose is the first step, getting Congress to engage and ask questions. Fact finding is the second step. And then we're going to make sure that Congress acts on those facts, whatever they may be. I think what we're going to determine is that these, testing, these tests were unnecessary, and Congress is going to hold Anthony Fauci accountable. Ideally, what our organization wants to see is for these tests, these type of wasteful and unnecessary tests, to get off taxpayers' back. We want to defund dog testing inside the federal government. Uh, Justin, uh, I don't normally take sides on this program, but uh, I applaud the work you're doing. And I know the beagles and puppies uh, around the world who could meet this fate uh, appreciate it, as do dog lovers around the world. Thanks for joining us, all right? Thank you very much. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you. Keep up the good work. <laughs>